What's up, y'all? Welcome back in the shop. We got something we're doing here tonight. Uh, I've been looking for a decent sized air compressor for my shop here at the house, and uh, I found one on Facebook Marketplace. It's a Cobalt brand. I honestly don't know much about them, but I know they're a thousand dollars new. And this one is for 500, so we're gonna go check it out. And it's supposed to be brand new. Let me turn this down here. It's kind of dark here, so you ain't gonna be able to see me. I could flip this around, see anything. There I am. So it's supposed to be brand new. Uh, apparently they didn't have the electrical capacity to run it. I don't know how much that is true, but we're gonna find out. But uh, they only went 500 for it, and it's normally a thousand new, and it's supposed to be in brand new condition. So we're gonna go check it out, and hopefully get us a decent sized air compressor. It's a cobalt 80 gallon, I think it's like 16, uh, CFM or whatever. So we're gonna go check it out and uh, See what happens. It's gonna be fun loading it. We'll see but uh, let's get into it Well, there it is it's awful dark out here, but we got it all loaded up Just pull it up with the winch cable Come out of that little shed back there Get it home and see what we can do to unload it And it is brand new. All right, we got a little bit better light here. Cobalt, 80 gallon. It's got like, a, I think it's a three horse or a five horse motor on it. It's pretty good size, two stage pump. Uh, 500 bucks, can't beat it, man. It's half price and it's uh, it's brand new. It's never even been wired up. Just one of those things he got it. And uh, his house, I guess he said he had porcelain fuses or something that couldn't supply the power to it kind of a weird deal but huh, it's uh, it's never been hooked up so it's as good as brand new to me and half off so uh, we're gonna go with it and we're gonna get it home see what we can do to get it unloaded and go from there so let's get it home all right we are here at the home shop uh, I don't know where I want to put it for sure permanently and I don't want to wire it up directly so we're gonna hook that dryer cord on it over there real quick. And I just wanna see it run more than anything. Uh, I think we're gonna use a snatch block and try to just pull it off to the end and then rock it off the back. I can't get the ramps down because of the incline the truck and trailer is on. So uh, we're gonna get it all unstrapped. And I'm gonna put you on a tripod and uh, we're gonna try to pull it off using a snatch block. We'll see how that goes. Compressor is already trying to show off. Out of the way. 
There it is in all its glory. I'm sure it's probably cheaply made, but heck, it was only <laughs> $500, so I'm happy with it. And I guess that's not a high, as high as SCFM as I thought. But that's still pretty good for just a home air compressor. That'll be fine. I think most shop ones are around 20, so we ought to be pretty good. But uh, we're going to hook this dryer cord on it. I got a plug in over there behind that blue barrel to run my welder, and it's a dryer plug. And then we can plug it up and see. I mean, as far as I can tell, it's never had any wires hooked up to it. You can see here's where the airline's supposed to go in. There's never been anything screwed in there. It's still painted. It's been open, so it should be all aired out. and shouldn't be rusty or anything in it. We got thermally protected, blah, 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 five horsepower. Gas iron pump, full of nice new oil. Apparently the pump's made by Cantville Hossfield. Don't know if I really like that very much, but uh, it's what it is. It was pretty cheap, so we're going to get a cord hooked up on it here and see what she runs. So this is pretty simple. It's just single phase. You got the two screws right here, line, line, and then the ground down there. And I got three wires on my cable here for the old dryer cord. I got the hot, hot, and then the ground in the center. I'm just going to have to cut these eyelets off so they fit in there. And we'll get this hooked up. Well, we got it all hooked up. Apparently, this style screw is not designed for uh, braided copper. So we had to run some solder in it to stiffen it up. But it worked out pretty well. We're just going to put the cover back on and see if she runs. It better. <laughs> all right, we got the cord all hooked up. It goes into that one that's rolled up there, and then it plugs into the outlet right back there we're gonna see if this works this don't sound too bad gotta put the air filter on it well that's pretty much all i got for you here today uh we're gonna work on getting it set up and i'll probably video some of that maybe make a two-part series of this but uh, I would have recorded a little bit more of the loading process, but it was kind of awkward and I don't have a cameraman. And uh, me and the other guy that I bought it from are trying to get this thing loaded up. Just needed two pairs of hands and don't want to run the camera. So you know how that goes. But uh, that's pretty much it for today. Hope you have a good one. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned. If you're interested in all the things I got going, check out some of my other videos and all that good stuff. Thumbs up is always appreciated. Uh, subscribe on uh, YouTube, follow on Facebook, all that good stuff if you're into what I got going, and we'll see you next time around.